where you are slightly different than uh, the last set of uh, conversations that I've had is that most people have the opinion that uh, if the world does improve, that because India has already outperformed quite a bit, India may relatively underperform the other EMs or the other Asian markets, the likes of Kospi, China, etc. The BOFA fund manager survey also kind of referred to that kind of uh, a scenario. Uh, you you believe that may not necessarily be the case? So I think we need to put things in context again. So, uh, you know, uh, let's look at China. So the HSCI, which is the Hong Kong listed China stocks, the March 20, which was the COVID lows, uh, you know, roughly was around 8,000, you know, give and take, uh, you know, a few points here and there. Our March 20 low was also roughly same, roughly there. Today we are at 18,000 plus minus whatever. They're at 6,000. Okay, so that's the context. So let's accept that they've had a massive bear market. In the last 10 days, we've had a 25% rally uh, in the Chinese market. And these numbers are after that 25% rally. So I'm just trying to put things in context that they've had a massive sell-off maybe for the right reasons because uh, you know india i mean china is almost becoming non investable there are a lot of emerging market funds who are launching uh, you know emerging market fund x china so i think those challenges for china and north asia which is korea taiwan because they are so linked to the us uh, economy they remain is it possible that they'll have you know a sharp rally because they've sold off it's possible uh, but if i look at uh, you know a medium term period I still believe that the opportunity for India to continue to outperform still remains. Can I predict one month or a three month, you know, bounce from here? No, I'm not equipped to do that. Uh, and uh, honestly, it may happen. I mean, we already seen that happening. But has the macro changed for them? Uh, I don't think because I think China still has a lot of issues. And I think what has been underemphasized to a large extent is the chip issue for China, which is that the US banning chips uh, to be exported to China. And that issue, I think, is a massive thing because technology is a large part of the benchmark in China. And if they have, you know, development issue, new, new uh, uh, you know, uh, chips cannot, the high-tech chips cannot be uh, made in China and cannot be imported, at least the experts tell me that this is pushing China back by about four to five years minimum. Uh, so I think how the market digests all these, only time will tell. Uh, I still reasonably am confident with how India's position, uh, but you know, short-term movements very difficult to predict.